Hello everyone. So today is a really different video. Uh, I read the comments. A lot of you were asking me to get uh, the Tapenikinius, sorry, no, not the Tapenikinius, the Theravosa apophysis uh, from Tarantula Canada. So I actually looked at Tarantula Canada's price list and I contacted her and she's actually got one and it's the only one left. So we were actually going to go get it. <laughs> So I thought I should do like a driving video and just to show you how close uh, the shop is from where I live. So sorry if the uh, camera might be a little shaky because it's on the tripod and so forth. So, you know, it's been a while since I actually recorded uh, some new videos. So I hope you had enjoyed uh, Tarantula feeding video uh, 146 part 4. I know it was uh, late and um, I sound, I really sounded kind of disappointed in the video because of the uh, P. Gigas. She didn't do well and uh, we determined that uh, it was due to uh, the uh, fecal impaction which is really kind of odd because you don't really see them in well, you do see the illness, but it's very rare. Uh, out of like hundreds of specimens I've worked with over the past 23 years, uh, this was actually the first case where I actually had experienced fecal impaction. And, and I, I've read and I've seen Tom Moran's video on it and it was just kind of like awful to see uh, him losing one of his prized teas. And you know, this year, it's, it's really not the best year for everyone, especially with this, uh, with this pandemic it's crazy because i know like a lot of people are on lockdown they lost their jobs uh which really sucks uh for me I, i'm still teaching online i record youtube videos on my channel on this particular channel but i put it as unlisted uh however they cut my hours from like 67 percent to 50 percent so i'm making even less money than what i did uh, a couple of weeks ago so um i mean i'm still fighting strong and uh during my spare time i have I make youtube videos for you guys uh i'll have to start doing it a little bit more often because uh as you can probably see from the grasses they're starting to grow so uh, that's actually my uh summer job uh that i do and that's usually how i f afford the teas um yeah so also the reason why i haven't been making any gaming videos because my computer for the past couple of, of uh, months really hasn't been the same it's uh very slow uh it's always giving me a disc read error of 100 percent so it's kind of it's on its last leg uh believe it or not it's around eight years old so uh i don't know i can try putting it in on my agato because i wanted to capture uh resident evil 3 uh footage on there and um for those of you who actually did play that game it's uh quite disappointing uh because of the uh the length of the uh of the game and they cut so much content out of it it's like the first time you start off with it's like you're an hour into the original game so like uh, it wasn't you know the best executed game now they're i heard they're making resident evil 4 uh, remake which uh to be honest i don't know why they want to do that because the graph and uh, the graphics are still current and it's been on every single console uh you name it like playstation uh two three four uh Xbox uh, 360, uh, S1, I'm not familiar with the Xboxes, and Nintendo GameCube, and uh, the Switch, so that's it. So, yeah, so I just really can't imagine, you know, the people, uh, what you guys are going through in this pandemic, you have to experience social distancing, and uh, it, it sucks, so because... You can't go out to a movie and, and enjoy it or uh, go to uh, any friend's house and, and stuff. So that really sucks for people. And, you know, like I, I'm just hoping that, uh, you know, like this pandemic gets over and done with. Where I live in Laval, uh, this is actually uh, the highest case here in Quebec. And we actually hit peak. So, uh I, thankfully, I don't really go out that much. Uh, I go out maybe like once a week uh, just for like simple raking jobs, but like I go groceries every two weeks. So, uh, um, and then I, I always carry myself um, a 
hand sanitizer, you gotta have that. And I have some gloves, which I'm gonna be doing once I uh, uh, leave my truck. And I always disinfect it uh, with the steering wheel, especially because that's where uh, everything happens. So we're actually pretty close. So I just have maybe two streets and that's about it. So just wanted to show you uh, what it's like to go to Trashla Canada. Um, Honestly, uh, well, honestly, oh, we've got a nice uh, Mustang here. Very cool. Okay, so, um, yeah, just another two more streets and then we're, we're uh, officially there. I won't be able to record in the facility because the facility is kind of small and they're still uh, getting some stuff added and plus with with the COVID-19 the shop is actually really closed uh, I'm just here just to go pick up it's already bought and paid for uh, so what did I buy uh, of course I bought the apophysis I bought another uh, well to replace uh, the U Palestras Wagenberg um, I bought another P Metallica uh, this one is a three-quarter inch sling and I bought myself a uh, Toledo to Caudal uh, Epicuranium, uh, which is formerly a Brachypelma species. Um, let's see what else is coming. I have another video that's coming out uh, right after this one. Uh, if you guys remember uh, Cheyenne, um, uh, so he's the guy that I bought uh, the v uh, sorry the Carabina Laeda, the mature male H poker piece. Uh, he reached out to me and he asked me if I wanted to uh, buy uh, his uh, female uh, a Vicalaria by uh, Variegata. <laughs> you know, I actually find that funny, uh, the Variegata, because you kind of think of the show um, Fairy Godparents. <laughs> And then the Mr. Crocker, that crazy history teacher, and he goes, Fairy Godparents! Fairy Godparents! And so like, Fairy Gada! Fairy Gada! So, it's actually pretty funny. Um, I mean, I actually, like, there's conflicting uh, pictures of this specimen. Uh, I mean, I, I googled it, and Google is probably, like, the worst uh, way to look at tarantulas, uh, because <laughs> they're wrong most of the time. You have one that looks exactly like your Avic Avic, but it has a brick red abdomen, so um, that's what most teachers reveal. Uh, that's what uh, the tarantula looks like. And then there's other cases where it looks like uh, Vicalaria ju uh, jurensis, uh, which is the uh, yellow pink toe. Um, I'm not sure the common name because uh, I don't have um, a computer right in front of me. So it's pretty interesting. So uh, from what I saw on Canada Post, it's out for delivery. So I should be getting it uh, probably this afternoon, uh, which is actually really cool. Cool. Uh, let's see, what else? And that's about it. So there's nothing much to add to this video. Uh, just me talking us, and they're actually turning around the corner. It's, uh, it's just goes to show you, it's like we're freaking close. <laughs> okay, so that's, uh, that's it, we're almost there. So just to show you, like, before they used to live in Montreal, uh, it would take me about an hour and a half, then they moved on to a shop, uh, which is a Reptile Concept, which was in Montreal, so I didn't want to take a car there because I didn't feel comfortable because I don't know my way around Montreal because I'm a Laval person, I stay within my neighborhood and uh, I would have to take the metro just to get there which would cost about like uh, six dollars plus uh, what eight dollars in gas just to go there now it's just right around my street so uh, that, that's just amazing and you know I always deal I always liked Amanda and she they're very nice people in Tarantula Canada as well as uh, Tangled and Webs and uh, Arachnophiliacs, which are like the three most uh, main dealers here in Canada as you can see like this is why uh, we only have three dealers here versus a lot of dealers here in the, U in the Europe area. And this is why tarantulas are really expensive here. Um, it's almost impossible to get uh, Peace Lotharia now, which is with pokies, because of their... Uh, they're protected under CITES. So, for Gallus, used to cost like $25. Now, now like for a sling, you're, you're going to talk about at least 40, 50 bucks. So uh, this goes to show you, even Metallica now, uh, they're starting to become a lot rarer, a lot harder to find, and uh, whatnot. And I think we're here. Yes, we are. Yeah, there we go, we are here. 
so ladies and gentlemen that is tarantula canada <laughs> okay so i'm gonna go ahead and uh park my truck park it lightly because i'm just gonna go and get the stuff and i'll see you later all right we're back here let's get some nice heat in here all right so pickup was swift and sound uh, this is for my friend uh, that uh, placed an order so he's gonna pay me after so show you the bill <laughs> of it oh okay this is actually really cool so we actually have a document here that analogy specimens of Telocotatal epicuranium, formerly Brachypalma, have been captive bred in Mexico by Geraldo Tran Garcia from Yuma Arachnophilia as part of a sustainable trade program. Furthermore, these specimens have been legally imported in Canada. Okay, so this is actually the CITES permit that uh, you get when uh, you purchase uh, the uh, bracket palmas here. So they sent me a bill on it. So let's see what they look like. All right. So this is the P Metallica, the Goody Sapphire Ornamental. Um, okay. Let's see. Uh, you don't really see much colors yet, but uh, they will get colors when they get older. I'm actually going to put some more air holes in here because uh, with Pisotheria, they like more ventilation. Okay, so that was that one. Uh, Wagenbergi, the white collared. Yeah, it's right over there. Looks like it molted. It's probably around a half an inch. Can't really see it that mall, but there we go. Oh, cool. Should put a freebie in here. Uh, LP. Okay, got enough of those. I got like uh, two females and one on sex, so it's nice to have another one. Uh, T. Epicuranium. Uh, this is the Yucatan Rust Rump, which is very similar to T. Vegans. Uh, you can't really see it. It's it's hidden. It's over here. My camera's just not focusing that well. And last but not least, uh, the lovely Theraphosa apophysis, which is the uh, pink foot goliath bird eater. Now you can tell, like I said in my other video, that uh, these Theraphosas are the only ones as slings to have pink feet on all the legs. If it was only the first uh, four pairs, that's a, uh, sorry, the first two pairs that's a sturmy and if you had a nun uh, then this is a uh, T blondie it's actually quite big um, that's as most uh, therophosa are as a uh, spiderling so uh, it's gonna be cool to raise and see how uh, well it does and that's about it guys so it's nice and toasty in here so I want to thank you so much for uh, watching uh, this video and just to show you guys a nice uh, drive in Canada, wet Canada. And uh, we're going to unbox the uh, Varigata when it arrives. And that is about it, guys. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. And see you in the next one.